But Megalomartle ruined this place. They're not going to take the time to feed the cows alfalfa if their tummies ache, or sift through the cows' scat for signs of trouble, or massage the steer to keep the flanks supple. Megalomart's too big. Maybe their size will help. Like you said, Hank, more good food for more people. Well, I want no part of it, and neither does Appleseed, right, Appleseed? I need new shoes, Hank. I thought we all cared about this place. I guess I'm the only one. If I believed in karma, I'd be really worried about you guys. I can't taste anything. I feel like I'm eating with a mitten on my tongue. I guess there are some things even Mrs. Dash can't fix. Let's just focus on the task at hand and push through this. Your father is right. We will forget what food tastes like soon enough. Maybe it would help if we ate in front of the TV. Dad, that guy's bad. Hank, Hank, you were right about Mega Organic, but it's worse than you thought. What are you talking about? It's just as industrialized as the rest of Megalomart. I saw pictures on the internet of where they keep their cows. They're like prison cells. Being a cow isn't a crime. We gotta talk to Steve. Uh, Appleseed, I was in the middle of eating my... Ugh, I'll drive. What have they done to this place? No, the meat too? It doesn't look like it was ever alive. Steve, we have to do something. Megalomart is ruining this place. And you should see the conditions their cows are living in. Look, it's not the way I run things, but it's still technically organic. Well, it might be organic, but it's awful. How does Sal feel about this? Uh, we don't have a butcher anymore. Sal took his profits and bought a condo on a cruise ship he can live on. How cute! My new phone reminded me I have a dentist appointment. Thank you, phone! We can't stand for this. You're right. We should make signs and protest and ask people to sign a petition. No, Appleseed. We're going to do something that makes a difference. 